Hi everybody, um, just going to, I wanted to do a perfume collection um, video and I'm hoping that my battery won't die, but um, I have a lot of perfumes <laughs> and this, uh, I don't want to describe all of them because this will actually take an hour, but um, I kind of will just start from the beginning. Um, So this is Carmala by Avon, and um, it. I bought this when I used to buy things from Avon. I don't anymore, but um, it was sort of touted as a sort of incense-y perfume. Now that I only wear perfume oils that are all natural, it doesn't really smell like incense to me. But um, it's a really pretty purple bottle, and even though I don't really like the perfume anymore, I I you know, keep it um, in my bathroom just because I'm fond of the way it looks. Unfortunately, it's dusty and it needs uh, polishing. But if you can see on the bottom, it's got this little symbol, little loops there, sort of like Mendy, um, and they use that on their packaging. Um, after that, I bought, uh, well, after that, I actually found a seller online called Villainous, and I really love her perfumes, but even more so, I love her packaging, which is sad, <laughs> but, um, she, her perfumes come in little ampules, and this is Embargo and, uh, Pyromania. Embargo is a bit sweeter than Pyromania. And um, I got Embargo first, and when I got Pyromania afterwards, I was like, wow, Embargo, forget about that. I just absolutely loved how hot and resinous the smell was, but I'm going to show you, I don't know if I can get this to show up. Um, the tag on the ampule, it's got a little V on it, and then there's a little brass tag that has a skull on it, actually. I'll just let it focus there see for a second um, there's a little skull imprinted so I just thought that was adorable. This is um, a little solid perfume and that's patchouli. Um, I've used a lot of it but it's also because I put it in body butters and things like that so um, and this is the company. This is Arc Blends Indo Patchouli. And it's a little soapstone container. Move this out of the way. Um, this is frankincense oil. And I don't put this on myself, but I use it when I clean my malas along with this. This is sandalwood, and this is traditionally what you would use to clean a mala, but, oh, <laughs> but I, um, purchased it as a perfume slash cologne or whatever for my boyfriend, and this is made by Satya, which is the same company that makes Lan Champa perfume oil, which I strangely enough don't have, I used to, but I have so many perfumes that I don't really think that, that is necessary. these two. And I have two more that I actually just use when I'm making things. This is uh, Tiare, Tahitian Tiare that I bought from Etsy. Um, tiara flower is a type of gardenia, which is one of the very few florals I like. I don't like florals or, or um, gourmand perfumes in general, but this also is black coconut, which is once again something that I don't put on myself. It's very, very sweet. Um, these two are per well, I purchased at a store um, in town. They're made by a company that's actually here in Florida, and um, they're not too far from me. This is, well, let me show this one first. This is patchouli by itself. Um, and I really like that because a lot of times if you see patchouli scented things, 
they have citrus in them or something else to balance out the smell. I don't like that. I don't like citrus and I really like patchouli, so I was happy to find this company that just did it by themselves. And, um, this one is Dragon's Blood. I have seen Dragon's Blood incense before. Never thought to buy it until I bought um, a soap by a company called Zumi. They make a Dragon's Blood line of body products. And I loved it so much I knew that I you know, definitely needed to go get um, a Dragon's Blood perfume. And it's great because these don't cost very much at all. I think I paid like eight, eight dollars for this. Mm. These are samples that I've received from Possets, which is now my favorite perfumist online. Um, I gave these to my boyfriend. Um, she sends a lot of samples every time you make an order. And that's great because you can find some perfumes that you didn't know that you like. But a lot of times I have a lot left over, so I give them to friends and family and co-workers and things like that. These ones are for my boyfriend. These are the ones that I carry with me in my purse, just because sometimes I forget to put perfume all the way to the house and I just feel so naked. <laughs> so these are the perfume samples that I keep. Separate these. Don't want to mix them up. Um, some of these are perfumes that I have and some of these are just ones that I liked and I figured, well, if I was in an emergency situation where I didn't have perfume, I can put on one of these. Um, this one is actually not from Possets. I received it as a sample with an order that I made from a beauty site. And it is like a Hawaiian scent. I can definitely tell that it's Tiare Gardenia. Um, it's fantastic and I would definitely buy a whole bottle of this, but I don't know what it is. Um, I was sort of, you know, uninterested when I saw that they had sent it, so I threw out the card that said what would be the name of the perfume. And I absolutely regret that because this is a beautiful, beautiful perfume. There's not very much left in the bottle, I can see. <clears throat> so, these are, I have a bunch of these. I just kind of accrue them um, every time I make an order from Fabian and Possets. As far as the ones that I gave to my boyfriend, um, I can find these. Black hole. So <clears throat> these three, um, I gave to my boyfriend just because they smelled like they would be very good, you know, with him as a masculine scent. This one came from a Halloween collection. This one was a summer um, yoga poses based collection, and this I think is just one of the ones that's always available. I recently made an order, and it was spurred by the fact that she had um, started a new collection based on Egyptian perfumes called the Egyptian Nights Collection. And so this is one from that one. This one's kind of unisex, and both he and I use it. It's called Crown of the Vulture. And all the ones in the Egyptian Nights Collection are very um, incense-y, resinous, ambers. Lots of smoky smells, um, but there are actually some things that are more like ginger, and some of them are gourmand, and I just kind of skip over that because I'm not a gourmand perfume person. That's this one. And these are the perfumes that I have for myself. I have a lot of them, but it's going to cost $10.99, so um, I don't really feel bad about it. And purchased so many. Paisley is the only one that um, cost more than ten ninety nine. It was twenty ninety nine just because of the ingredients. It is uh, like all amber or something like that, and so it's a bit pricier to make. So, uh, the Great Housewife of Babylon has like tobacco. Yeah, it smells in it. It's so rich and beautiful. I absolutely. The first time I smelled it, 
I had to write again an email just letting her know how great her perfumes are. This is Evil, Evil Eye, and it has ginger smell in it. Um, not like a fruity ginger, but it's a very, um, like an actual ginger smell. And I love ginger, so that really worked with me. It has a lot of, um, it smells like a sensor, so. And Venus Black, I had as a sample for a very long time. And so when I made my recent order, I knew that I needed to pick this one up. Um, over the Rhine, I don't use as much that more that often, but it's one of the first ones, in fact, the first one that I ever got from her. It smells a little like chai. Cree de Cray was uh, made as part of uh, when the earthquake in Haiti happened, as part of the relief effort. She made this perfume, and um, all of the proceeds went to relief. But everybody loved it so much that she actually kept it on as an official perfume. Chagrin smells just like licorice. It's based on absinthe. And I have put a huge dent in this bottle because I, I wore it every day for a very long time after I first bought it. Um, this is Crown of the Serpent, which is a very hot, uh, ambery. So this is uh, Wheel of Fortune, and it was part of a holiday collection. I think it came out like in January one year. Um, Dangerous Oil is also part of a holiday time collection. It does remind you that time of year, but not in a super joyful uh, way. And Pumpkin Perp, Pumpkin Perp, and Gypsy Grave, along with the uh, Spirit. Um, we're part of Halloween collections, this one, as you would think, it does smell like perfume. And Gypsy Grave, <clears throat> Gypsy Grave smells like flowers and smoke and um, cards, actually. It has like a papery smell. She's very good with notes. And this is Lotus, and that Lotus goes with Warrior as part of the Yoga pose inspired the summer collection. It smells very clean and fresh. So, these are my perfumes. I am very fond of scent. You can just take a look at each of these. These are the Nas, um, Art Blends, Satya. These I got off of Etsy. Um, except for the Skumba Made, which is sold in stores as well. Sunzai is a local brand, and then we have all of um, the posets along with these samples and these samples. So, ah, and not to forget, it's in Avon. So yeah, that's my perfume collection, and I hope this was relaxing for somebody. So, bye.